Hi, Kevin here. I'm going to show you our new tool, the sewing kit. Now the sewing kit is primarily for putting hair up and today I'm going to show you how to do a messy updo or like a more glamorous version of a messy updo. Now we've prepped the hair with hair resort spray and I'm going to tong the mid lengths of the hair. You want to use your curling iron in a horizontal fashion so you want to go straight in. You want to drop that down from the roots and ribbon the hair around the curling iron at least two and a half times to make a curl. Now hair resort is has got heat protection in it so no worries about burning the hair but you want to make sure that the hair is quite hot and then you want to reinforce with a medium sized curler. Now the reason you use the curler is because the curler holds the heat in and just puts a slight amount of bend on the very ends of the hair which stops any, any frizziness. Then you want to make sure that you drop that down because we're not looking for any height. Then simply take that underneath section and repeat and leave about, you want to leave about that much out. So again, you want to hold that for about 30 to 45 seconds. The thicker the hair, the more you want to leave it on the iron. As you can see, I've prepared it a little bit earlier. Normally underneath, we've gone for a bit of a part. We don't really want a part just here. What I'm going to suggest is that we take that entire top section. Big sections make big curls, so don't be afraid to take a big section. And also it saves you a bit of time. So you want to smooth that out with your wide tooth comb first. We're going to go straight in like so. And make sure that you're not wobbling around as well. It's really important to keep yourself nice and stationary. Take a trusty roller and click on. Okay, so again we're going to do the other side. So nice big horizontal section and ribbon the hair around the curling iron. And you can see the hair starting to shine on that barrel, which is great, because that's really closing that cuticle down. Go to your next section, straight in horizontally, wrap that around, grab your curler. Okay, so we've left that hair for about five minutes to completely cool down. So now what you want to do is begin at the bottom and just take your rollers out. Don't really disturb the hair too much. Just let them come out of the hair. What you want to do is run your hands through it first, just run your fingers through. The hair has a nice bend on it, but you can see that end is quite a bit smoother than the rest, and that smoothness is going to make it look really modern. You just want to comb that through. So you can see those ends are quite a bit straighter, but they're nice and smooth. So you've got this nice big wavy effect. So comb the hair all the way through. Always use a wide tooth comb and just try and lift the roots a little bit with your comb. And keep combing until you see a wave appear. Now you can see the hair is nice and wavy. We just want to define the ends a little bit. So you're going to take a very tiny amount of motion lotion, like a five cent piece or a couple of pennies, a very tiny amount. Rub that into your hands, all over the palms of your hand. Take all the hair at once. Lift everything up and you want to disperse that mainly on your ends. The best way to get that product into the hair is give the hair a little bit of a twist on the end. So you want to twist that all the way through and keep twisting, smoothing, twisting, smoothing and take all the hair at once. Squish it in, let the hair go. All the motion lotion does is define the very ends of the hair. So all the ends are really defined in a weightless, natural way. Okay, so now the hair is completely prepared. We're ready to sew the hair. Now, in your sewing kit, you will find the blonde thread for blonde hair. There is a, a brown linen thread for your mid-tones, of course, and there is a black linen thread for black hair. The thread is a pure linen thread, and the pure linen thread has slight imbrications on it and what the imbrications do is they actually catch onto the hair. So when I say your hair's your string's got to be this long, it needs to be so from your heart to the end of your hands. So if your thread's too long, you can't get any tension onto the client. Now also in your sewing kit you'll find two needles, plastic needles, so they've got a nice big eye on them and basically they're quite blunt. Now you want to take your thread Go through once, and then go through again. So I do a double knot. I think a double knot's really, really important. Now, uh, we're gonna have to bob down a little bit here. So we're gonna take that hygienically placed into the mouth, pull the hair back, and then pull the hair from the underneath 
up, like so. What you want to do is you want to begin at the nape of the neck. You want to go through and make a stitch all the way through. Now don't add any tension until you go three times. Then on the third time, you go through and you can actually apply some tension. So then that, you give that a nice big tug. And then just for good measure, you want to go through and do a blanket stitch. Now a blanket stitch is where you go through the loop, like so. So you go straight through the loop and secure the hair at the nape and it's quite tight. Then you can get up. Your next stitch is slightly above that. So you want to go straight through the hair, like so. Go around straight through again, so all the way down to the scalp. And then one more blanket stitch through here. And then pull up. You want to bring your model over to the side. Now you can see what you've created is those little waves through there. Then you want to just pull this into the side straight through again and just put a tiny little blanket stitch in there like so and then you want to go all the way through to the other side and repeat there we go bring her around to the side let some soft bits out through there grab your trusty scissors and just cut that string off then you want to take a little bit of the hair resort spray lightly spray that over the hair all the way through you want to push your hands up into the hair to make that hair a little bit softer on the top and give you a bit of volume. And we just want to give that a little bit of a loosen up. So there we go, there's your messy up to.